Welcome, this is video 2 showing off Content Shield for Windows Phone 7. This will be the final version that you'll download in the marketplace. I'll talk you through some of the final changes that I've put in and show you my shopping section which wasn't shown in a previous video. Uh, before I go in, I just, I've seen a couple of comments saying as a password protection saying that people could just use a lock screen to password protect. I don't use my lock screen, people can use a lock screen but the password protection is just one section of the application, you don't have to use it, it's just there if you want to use it. So I'll just go in now, I'll show you the changes that we've made. Right, as you can see we've got the four tiles there, um, which is different from before as these are now all live tiles showing different kinds of information. You've got your passwords showing the last time they were viewed in case you want to know if anyone's tried to get into your passwords. You've got my shopping, flipping and showing um, how many items are currently in your shopping basket. And for the tasks, I don't know if you remember, if you've seen the previous video, the latest task was shown at the very top of the application, uh, but now it's shown on the back of the live tile. As you'll see when it flips around, there we go, that's the latest task that I've added. And then obviously my jokes is just moving as it wants. Right, I'll show, I'll just show a few things I want in the previous application now. I'll show you, I'll go straight into my passwords and I'll show you the password generator. Right, if we just flip, we can find the password generator. Here it is. You can generate an eight digit password below. So if I click the generate button, there's his password. And then you might not be able to see it very good in this light, but then we can just click on a category if you want to assign it to somewhere, or you can click on the password and just copy and paste it somewhere. I'll just add it into, let's say, add it into social. I click add, then choose your password type. I'll just choose MySpace, and the password is added there. If you can see it, add password, and then it shows up there. So that's as, that's very simple. Not don't need to go through that again. Right, I'll quickly show you my tasks again. If you haven't seen the previous video, you've got your tasks there, you've got your completed tasks there. You can add a new task by clicking this button here, or you can click the back button to go back. This is the latest task I've added, which is create a new video for Content Shield showing off final version. So I've added that, and then that shows up on the live tile when it flips around. Any other task I add after that, then that one will show up. Right, I'll now go through... I'll quickly go through the jokes again just to show you if you haven't seen the previous video. You've got your collection of jokes here which you can you can type in, you can copy these, you can send them to people. And then you've got a collection of jokes on Twitter if you click the synchronize button. Then we're on a 3G connection here so hopefully I'll get these much quicker on Wi-Fi and then it's got them. Right, so you can scroll up and down these. Here they are. You've got all different ones, just click on one, add it to your collection, and there it is. I'll just remove it, simple as that. I'll go out of this now, I'll show you my shopping section, which wasn't finished in the previous video, pre previous build of Content Shield. So I'll click straight into that. As you can see, you've got your food shopping list, a partner's shopping list if you want to get your partner's, if your partner's birthday is coming up, Christmas is coming up, and you want to add in their shopping list and then you can password protect that so if they're looking through your phone they can't see what you're going to get them and then you've got a wish list if anything you're wanting to buy then you can just add it on there and then finally purchase so any items that you've purchased you can click and they'll appear here I'll just give you a quick demo here let's say here right what I can do is I can enter an item at the top or I can scroll through these already entered items here let's just say Say I want some chicken burgers, I'll click on that and it appears there. So let me just add an item. Right, I'll just add in, let's say I had, let's say I want some cereal. I've added cereal, then add item to collection below, I'll leave that tick. So if I add cereal, then it shows up there. Then if I click that, then I, I will not need to type cereal again because it's appeared at the bottom there. So you can store or anything you enter, you can store them in this list for future use so you don't have to retype them out. Then say I'll click on chicken burgers and then I say I want to find the cheapest chicken burgers from the supermarket. I'll click on compare. Again 3G connection. Then it'll open up the web browser and there we go. We've got chicken burgers, we've got Tesco, Asda, Sainsbury's, Birdseye, telling you the cheapest and where you can get them from. 
and we'll simply close that, seal with purchases chicken burgers and they disappear and then they appear in the purchase section tells you where you what time you purchased it and what date I'll, quit, I'll show you my partners list now, same again you can add your item and then it'll appear below or you can just click on one of these already preset items, let's say birthday cards, some flowers some chocolates and then they'll be stored in and then you've got a wish list let's say windows phone so then what we can do now let's say we'll purchase these chocolates, purchase the flowers, let's delete the birthday card and then let's say we'll purchase the windows phone and then they appear there, different icons showing you what section it is, what time, what date you purchased them so let's just go again, hit the wish list, hit windows phone, windows phone compare and it'll open up the web browser and show you different windows phones, different prices simple as that, you can store all these and it's very simple to use so I've got one, two, two items going in your shopping basket so it'll update itself, you don't need to do anything, it's just little reminders to talk you through it right, um, I'll quickly show you the settings again this is where you can set your password, if you want to use a password you don't have to use a password at all then your preferences, these are faded out at the moment until you add that password, once you've added your password in confirmed it, then you can use these preferences you can tick whatever sections you want to password protect it's very simple, so that's the end of the video Content Shield for Windows Phone 7 Mango is now available in the marketplace. You can download it from the link in the description. If you click that, it should take you straight to it, then you can download it. I hope you like the application. It is free to use, it is free to download. Please tell your friends and please follow us on Twitter to give your feedback as we'll continue to improve the application as we go on. So, thanks for watching.